Hi everyone, let's solve today's daily challenge that is middle of the linked list. So uh, in this question, we are simply given a head of a singly linked list and we need to return the middle node of this linked list. And if there are two middle nodes, return the second middle node. Right. So the question is very, very straightforward. So you are simply given a linked list and all you have to do is return the middle node of this linked list. Right. So this is the first node second node, third node, fourth and fifth node. So we can clearly see that this one is the middle node, right? So the middle node is that one where the distance, if you traverse it from the right or you traverse it from the left are the same, these distances, right? So now, uh, so in case uh, if the number of nodes are odd, so it's very visible that this particular node right let's say the length is 5 so 5 divided by 2 plus 1 that is the third node is going to be your middle node correct so but in case you have even nodes right let's say you have four number of nodes then you have these two as your middle nodes and obviously you cannot you know find an average or anything like that so you have to return the second middle node in this case right in this case we have two middle nodes correct so when number of nodes are odd then it's pretty clear that this one is going to be your uh, middle node and in case you have second right so this is one two three four so you have to return three which basically means four divided by two plus one right so the number of nodes plus one that is three third node you have to return now how to solve this question so you might say that okay what we'll do is we'll first find the length of this linked list and in this case it is five right and then what we'll do is we'll calculate this so we'll say third node is going to be our middle node that means first reversal will do like this and the second reversal will go up to this particular node that is the middle node and that node will return so that's the naive way to solve this question but let us discuss in this video we're going to discuss that approach which is going to give you the middle node in one pass only or one iteration only all right so let's see how sorry not one iteration uh, basically in linear time okay so let's say we have this nodes right so yesterday you might remember uh, was the question for linked list cycle and there we discussed that we use something called slow and fast pointers right and uh, what is the characteristics or um, function of these two pointers so slow pointer moves by one node ahead right and fast pointer moves two nodes ahead right now how like why am i um, talking about slow and fast pointer here so the reason being look slow pointer moves by one node fast moves by two node so can you see something right so let's say here we know there is going to be no cycle in this linked list right because we have to find the middle node so let's say your slow pointer is here and your fast pointer will initially be here only then your slow pointer will be here your fast pointer will be here this is the first iteration in the second iteration your slow pointer will move here and your fast pointer will move here now you can you see that inside of that while condition if you remember when we are trying to find um cycle right what we do is we say fast of um next right we check for it becoming null or and and we check fast of um, only fast it becoming null right so this is what we check correct so if any of these is true we simply break out of the loop so here in this case you can see that fast is here and fast of next is null that means you have to stop iterating right can you see after all your iterations right as soon as fast becomes null or fast of next becomes null your second will be standing at the middle node okay let's do the uh, case when you have even number of nodes let me take six so when we have even number of nodes right then your slow pointer initially is here and your fast pointer is also here. Then your slow pointer will come here in the next iteration. Fast will be here. Correct. Then your slow will come here. Your fast will come here. Then your slow pointer would be here and your fast pointer would become null. Right. Fast will be here. Now, can you see? Let me find the middle node for this case. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I said do 6 by 2 plus 1. Right. So it's what 4. So fourth node is supposed to be my middle node. Can you see second, this slow pointer is a standing where? The slow pointer is standing at 
the middle node that you want to return even in the even case you want to return second middle node so you are exactly standing at the second middle node so this is the whole approach to solve this problem so this uh, this is the reason why these slow and fast pointer are of huge significance when we study linked list right so a lot of examples can be solved using slow and fast there was another problem that was uh, in which we had to find nth node from the like we had to delete the nth node from the end of the linked list there also we utilized these two pointers right so yeah so this is how you have to solve this question and what you are going to do to solve this question is use slow and fast pointers because you know slow pointer travels by one distance one unit of distance and fast travels by two unit of distance so that means fast pointer stands at 2x of distance the slow pointer is standing which basically means slow is standing at the middle of the linked list so i hope you understood what we have to do we have to basically take these two pointers now let's discuss about the time complexity so time complexity is going to be big o of n only reason being um even n by 2 because you are only going up to half the distance because fast travels twice the speed right so it's only up to this middle node only but still um, it is going to be we go of n so you can see that in linear time you are able to solve this question right and only in one pass right and talking about space complexity it's constant you are not utilizing any space right you are only using two pointers just slow and fast so i hope you've understood the question now let us go ahead and look at the code okay so here's the code you take slow fast both are initially pointing to head and we also check if there is you know head next is um, null right then you can simply return the head that is that is there is only one node present so that node is going to be the middle node only then we are iterating in this loop now uh, why we are doing while true is it is because um, there might be a cycle right if let's say there is a cycle then obviously um, you have to break out of the loop at this point but still like um, you can return the head after the in the last right otherwise uh, you will break out of this condition that past is null or past of next is null and you can return slow you can also put this condition up here also i think that will not make any as such difference because it's not mentioned that uh, there is there would be any cycle right so yeah so that is how you have to solve this question